Hey guys, MD Prepper here. Another gear review. This time on the SOG Revolver Seal style knife. Before we get going with the review, I'd like to say this is a uh, extension of my three-piece piece camping kit review that I did. I believe it was yesterday. Got this as well as the Fast Hawk by SOG and their entrenching tool. All of them for $40 total with shipping off of a uh, quick deal. So about $13 a piece per item, which I think is great for these things across the board. Uh, let me go ahead and say this is a shout out to I owned you noob who requested I do individual reviews of each of these three items. So if the video sucked, like I said before, send the negative comments his way. Uh, if you don't like the vid, it's his fault. So anyhow, let's moving along here. The revolver seal of the FX21, as they call it on the website, has an MSRP of 4150. Now I would not pay 4150 for this knife. Uh, I just would. I think it's nice. I like it, but 4150 is a bit steep. With the uh, deal I got, I paid about $13 for it if you divide it evenly between the three items or so. Well, 13.33333. But anyhow, uh, this is 440A stainless steel, glass reinforced nylon handle grips on it. Very well textured overall. I think those are going to grip real, real well. The blade here is 4.75 inches total length here. The blade itself along with the handle is 10 inches overall basically just a general purpose steel nothing special about it there but look at it you got a false edge here on the back side got a decent cutting edge here which comes quite sharp i'm not going to put too much pressure on that don't want to cut myself but uh, right there you see some serrations fairly decent flip it around Ooh, it says sog go figure see an odd little hole there right about there. You wonder what in the heck that's for? Kind of an odd place for a lanyard hole because it's not for a lanyard. Uh, lanyard holds back here, guys. Um, this little boar style atom image there, because I think this is their fusion line. Not entirely sure what just a basic atom has to do with fusion, being a chemist by training back in the day, but anyhow. Would not use this for batoning, like I said in the last video. Uh, you said, well, I want my survival knife to be able to be used for batoning. Not in this case, you don't. Look back here, you get a little button. You see that right there, hopefully? You push that button, rotate the blade. Oh, magically you have a saw. Uh, nice little sawtooth edge here. Got your bigger double-sided teeth. And s smaller than that, at the base of each of those little teeth there, is a smaller tooth. Uh, I'm going to try to see if the camera can pick that up. Little itty bitty smaller teeth on it. Hopefully you can see that there. There's your way to collect wood and tender and all that. Twigs and branches, that type of stuff. Cut down small trees. Don't waste the blade on your knife for batoning and beating it down. Why don't you just saw the thing down? Uh, yeah, check out Dave Canterbury and the rest. They'll say for a single person or two out in the woods, a saw is going to do just as well as an axe or larger processing tool. So, tremendous here. Here we go, flipping it around. Ooh, very nice. So, knife, I carry it this way. And when I had to process wood, chop off limbs, that type of stuff, there you go. Very easy. Got to keep the button pressed as you flip it. Kind of funny looking this way, but uh, kind of cool at the same time. Don't know if there's any other similar designs out there, but if you know of any, please let me know. Let me show you how this little release works, the action here. See that little steel stud in there? This thing's also steel aligned. You cannot probably see that steel in the bid, but trust me, it's in there. You push this button down, like so, and the uh, button goes up, the stud. So that allows you to flip your blade in and lock it into that little hole like we saw. Now here on the saw side, let's flip it around, do it the other way. Locks in place just like thusly. So, out and in. So, very handy there. I have not used this yet. I think it's interesting. Neat concept. I'm going to try it out here. Probably not my primary carry, but hey, it's cool. What can I say? Sheath. Eh, it's a sheath. It's a basic sheath. Nylon Cordura. Nothing fancy. Definitely not the highest grade out there in the world. It's got a basic little Velcro end here for the blade. I would store this with the blade in it, not the saw edge. Just kind of worried about those saw teeth cutting up the side of this thing. So, slides in there. Fits nicely, but no retention at all. This thing would probably fall out if it wasn't retained. 
has a little Velcro fix, like I said there. I prefer a snap. Nothing wrong with Velcro, but I still prefer a snap. Snap's a little bit harder to get off, which I like if I'm running through the brush, something like that. I don't want this thing to accidentally pop open, and I don't know what next thing I know. Bopping around, running around, the knife comes out. Meh, whatever. Standard belt loop on the back side, nothing fancy. And again, it says SOG right there. So, decent blade overall. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say about this. Like I said, it's 440A stainless steel. Four and three quarter inch blade. With an MSRP of 4150, I think this thing is a great steal at $13, which I got it for. Uh, looked online, they tend to run about $20.25, something like that. I don't even know if I'd pay $20.25 for it, but $13? Yeah, it's a steal. Nice little toy to play around with out in the woods or backyard, stuff like that. Anyway, that's the SOG Revolver Seal. MD Prepper out. Thanks, guys.